Hey everybody, welcome back to Funny Bug Bees and Woodworks on YouTube. Visit funnybugbees.com to check out all of our products that we sell, which includes a full line of beekeeping supplies, frames, foundation, boxes, hive beetle traps, you name it. For today's video, I got this idea from uh, one of our customers who wanted to know if we would produce them for him, and we told him, of course, that we would. So, Mike, appreciate it if you're watching. It is a five frame Ross Round Honey Super. We sell this product on our website, so if you don't want to make one, you can buy them. Just visit funnybugbees.com, you'll find them there, and this coupon code will give you 10% off of them in our store. So, Ross Round uh, Honey Supers are increasing in popularity. What it is is basically a Honey Super that has a special frame called a Ross Round frame that fits in it. These frames are smaller than standard hive boxes though, so you have to build a special box for them. That's what we're going to do today. The Ross Round Honey Supers uh, allow you to build or allow you to put a Honey Super on your hives that bees will make perfectly circular little sections of comb honey in, which you can then package in clay or uh, uh, little plastic trays or, or anything like that. So it's a pretty cool project. They're really fun to watch the bees make and they're easy to sell. So if you sell honey, try Ross Rounds, try these boxes. We sell them in five. Frame, uh, five frame, eight frame, and ten frame sizes. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and get started. And again, thanks for stopping by our channel. Okay, guys. As always, you're going to need safety glasses, hearing protection, and a table saw. This table saw has had its blade guard removed to make the video easier for you to see. Never ever remove your blade guard. I do not recommend it. Actually, I highly advise against it. All right, so for your cut list, this project's gonna use standard three-quarter inch stock. Um, if you don't have access to three-quarter inch S4S lumber like this, um, you can always go with, uh, with uh, two-by lumber and, and mill it down on your table saw yourself. But uh, I'm gonna be using three-quarter inch stock. Now, on these Ross Round Honey Supers, um, the long sides of the box are actually made with half inch stock. So the short sides are going to be three quarter inch stock. The long sides are going to be half inch stock. So if you can get a half inch stock from your local lumber yard or big box store, please do so. Um, I have a huge mass of this on hand always because 99% of our products are built from it. So, and I also have access to a planer and a joiner. So I'm actually just going to mill these down to half inch. But uh, for the long sides. So get uh, half inch lumber for your long sides. The long sides are 19 and 1 8 inches long. The short sides are 9 and 1 quarter inches long. Same as a standard uh, uh, honey super, okay, just like you'd make any other time. Uh, and you're also going to need, need to make a ledger board, which is 8 and 1 quarter inches um, long. And all of these uh, are going to be uh, four and a half inches deep, uh, and we'll get to making these cuts. There, there's a couple of exceptions in there, but I'll explain them as we make the cuts. So we'll go ahead and get this lumber milled out, and then we'll get to putting it together. Okay, here guys, what I'm doing is cutting a piece of three-quarter by 12 inch wide stock to 19 and 1 8 inches final dimensions. Uh, you'll notice that I cut one short side and then flip the piece, referencing off the same edge. This is what gives you a square, uh, two square faces to the long edge. Now set your fence for four and a half inches, and we're going to cut two pieces out of this piece of stock that are four and a half inches wide. Those will be our long sides.
Alright guys, what you should end up with is two pieces 19 and 1 8 by 4.5. Alright guys, I'm just going to set up the miter fence here and what we're doing is setting up to cut the short sides of our box which are going to be 9 and 1 quarters inches long uh, and these pieces will be 4.5 inches uh, wide the uh, same as our long sides, 4.5 by 9 and 1 quarter inches. I've already squared the two short edges of this board to one of the long edges so there's no need to repeat that step. I'm just going to put it in the miter fence here and cut them at nine and a quarter inches. You'll need two of these pieces, so that's what I'm cutting here. Here I'm just setting up the saw to do the four and a half inch cut to get these cut to the depth that we need. So set your table saw to four and a half inches and then take these two nine and a quarter inch long pieces and cut them at four and a half inches. All right, so what we end up with here, guys, is two pieces, nine and a quarter by four and a half. Good to go. Okay, what I'm doing here, guys, is firing up my planer. This is a Jet model JJP12, 12 inch jointer planer. Uh, the long sides need to be a half an inch thick, not three quarters. That's why I said in the beginning of the video to purchase half inch stock for the long sides. If you have access to a joiner and you've got plenty of three quarter inch stock, you can just mill these down really quickly, which is what I'm doing. Um, down to a half inch thickness, which is what you need. I'm just going to take some measurements here and kind of take it slowly to get that last little bit out and make sure they're exactly a half of an inch. All right, everybody, this is what we've ended up with. Two ledger boards. Your ledger boards are four and one eighth inches tall, okay, on this dimension. And they are eight and a quarter inches long on this dimension. So eight and a quarter by four and one eighth. Two of those, those are ledger boards. You've got two short boards. These are the end boards of the five frame honey super. These are nine and a quarter inches on the long dimension, nine and a quarter by four and one half. Four and one half. Two of those, those are the ends, the short pieces of your box. And then we also have two long sides of the box. I milled these down as you saw with the planer to half inch thickness. Okay, so just if you if you don't have access to a planer, you can do one of two things. You can get a two by four or a two by six and mill these on your table saw um, to a half inch thick, or you can use a planer and do it. Or just like I said, get half inch thick stock. Just make sure it's actually half inch uh, thick from your big box store and you'll be fine. Now these long boards, the long sides of your box are 19 and 1 8 inches on the long side and four and a half on the short side. All right, that's our stock cut. The next thing we need to, do, we need to do is make our rabbits, rabbit joints for the short boards. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on a table saw. If you have a router, by all means, please do it on the router, it's much quicker. Um, but I'll do it on the table saw since most people don't have access to a router so everybody can make this project. We'll do that now. All right, so these are the short sides of your box. The pieces that were nine and a quarter inch long. We need to cut a half inch rabbit in each end of this for your long sides of your box to sit into so that we can form the box. 
The easiest way to do that is going to be with, if, with a router, but if, if you're going to do it with a table saw, all you're going to do is take your stock, put it in your, in your fence, in your miter fence. Now this piece of stock was nine and a quarter, so you just subtract a half an inch from that. What do you get? Eight and three quarters. So set your stock to eight and three quarters. and then just make passes clearing it all out. I've still got to set the blade to 3 8 of an inch deep to make this rabbit, and you should too. Set your blade depth to 3 8 of an inch, and then we'll make the cut. There we go, three-eighths of an inch deep on the blade. We've got our stock in place, put on hearing protection, eye protection, and we'll make these cuts. So as you can see here, everybody, what I'm doing is just making that first cut where it needs to be and then unlocking my stop so I can move the stock to my left which is towards you on the screen, and then making a pass through the wood with the blade, moving the wood over just a little bit. And what I'm doing right there is just clearing out any burrs or anything. And that's all there is to it. Now just really quickly, this is what you should end up with. Now I'll give you a close-up of it. All right, this is the close-up of that rabbit joint. It's three-eighths of an inch deep and a half inch back from the end. This is what forms the ledge that forms your box. Like so. All right, so on to the next step. Okay, now guys, all you need to do is complete that same step on both ends of both of your short boards and you'll have your rabbits ready for the next step of the process which we'll do now. All right all that's left to do now is put the box together. Uh, one other thing that you will need, you don't have to use it, is either a speed square or a precision square or a set of corner clamps to make sure that the box is square after you build it. So. You've got your two ledger boards, your two short boards for the ends, and you've got your half inch stock that you've planed down for or, or purchased for the long ends. Rabbit joints make it easy. You're just going to glue your joint. Insert one of your long boards into one of your rabbits. Make sure your edges are lined up good and top and bottom is lined up good. Now I'm going to use staples, 18 gauge crown staples. You can use whatever, nails, screws. I would recommend though that you actually use staples. The half inch stock is really thin so you'll want to make sure that you don't split it with screws. So, and, and glue holds better than the, than the turn staples anyway. Repeat that for the other side. Line up your corners, just make sure the outside edges are flush and the top. And staple it in place. Then tilt it up so you can do the bottom sides. Now flip it over and put your other short board on after gluing.
Remember, just get your edges lined up. That's just the most important thing. The, the smoother and you can get these edges when you line them up, the more square the box will be because it won't be tweaked. Once you're happy with it, just nail it. Now turn it around, get the other edges lined up. Do the same thing here, get it nice and flush. So there's your box, five frame. All right guys, it's at this point that you'll wanna take your square, you've got the box put together, and make sure it's square. This one is. If you wanna make sure it's perfectly square, just use a corner clamp. On opposite corners, okay? So here. And here, now you use your square, a speed square, or work any construction square, or an actual precision square. Make sure that it's perfectly square. It is. You'll just set this to the side and allow the glue to set up. Uh, 30 minutes to an hour is fine. Uh, type on three, which is what I use, and I use type on three because it's 100% waterproof. Type Bond 2 is only water resistant, so if you're going to use a glue, especially on, on B equipment that's going to be out in the elements, use Type Bond 3. Let this set up for at least a half an hour, and then we'll move to the next step. Okay, our glue's dried, so you can go ahead and remove your clamps if you use them. If you just squared it up and set it to the side while the glue set, that was fine as well. Your next step is going to be to insert your ledger boards. Now you'll notice there's no frame rest cut into these end boards like you would normally do on a hive body or a honey super. The reason for that is that the Ross round frames are shorter than standard length thrift style frames. So these ledger boards are what actually make the frame rest for you. So what you'll do is take the ledger board and put it down in your box, like so. Let me turn this upside down. You can see it's flush with the bottom, so these two boards are smooth and flush, which at the top leaves a ledge for the Ross round frame. I'll show you a close-up of this so you can see what I mean. All right, this is the bottom of the box with the ledger board put in, and you can see the ledger board and the outside edge of the box are smooth and flush. On the inside of the box, that forms a frame rest. You're going to glue and nail this ledger board in place now. All right, so to glue and nail this in place, simply add some glue to the face of your ledger board. Insert it into the box, flush with the bottom, and press it up against that inside edge. Before you nail it, or staple it, flip it over and you want to make sure that your box and the ledger board are flush and that the ledger board is not high or proud above the bottom of the box. Once you've got it completely flush here, you can staple it. Staple it near this edge so that you can come over here to this side and it still has some play in it to get this side perfectly smooth, which I have, which is right there, and then you can just staple it however you like. Rinse and repeat that for the ledger board on the opposite side of the box. All right, just one additional note, guys. Um, 
Several of the, the manufacturers of the actual Ross rounds have slight variations in the size of the frame. Um, and uh, so you're going to have some extra space in here. The last step, and some of you may need it and some of you may not, but cut it just to have it. This is an eight and a quarter inch wide by four and one eighth inch high piece of one eighth inch plywood, one eighth inch Luan or whatever you want. It's just a piece eighth of an inch thick and that acts as a spacer that makes this a little tighter and reduces the B space between the walls of the Ross round frames, the ends of them, and your ledger boards so that the bees don't build burr comb in it. If you, if you need this, and just test fit your Ross round frames into this box. If they're loose or you want to take up some of that slack and reduce the chance of burr comb, just insert this just like you did your ledger board and then glue and staple it to your ledger board. That's it. There. That's all there is to making this product. Um, thank you for visiting Funny Bug Bees and Woodworks. Don't forget to check out our website. If you would like to order this product and start making your own Ross Round uh, honey, comb honey, then please come check our website out. There's a 10% off coupon for it uh, in our store. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.